This is seriously like a frenzy. After Saturn and Ketu, we are with Jupiter now. After crossing 10,000, 12,000, 13,000 views for each of the videos, now we're going to do the same thing in context of Jupiter. So 10 combinations, placements of Jupiter, which can yield massive, massive, massive grand wealth. So why not discuss Jupiter? Because he is the greatest of all benefics. Do not forget Jupiter. He is the greatest. If malefics like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, who we discussed, can give you wealth, can you even imagine what Jupiter can do? Well, if not, then let's see what he can do. All right. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you have not watched the Saturn, K2 and Rahu videos, I'll pin them down in the comment section. Please watch them. And yes, if you want a consultation from me regarding your career or your relationships, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. So now, what is the first placement? And yes, of course, I would love to know where is your Jupiter and do you have any of these placements in your chart? And if yes, how was your Jupiter Dasha? And always remember, before we begin, first see the overall chart and then you see your Dashas, okay? Favorable Dashas are very important. So what is the first position for Jupiter? This is the most grand position. This is the most extraordinary position. This is the best position you can have for Jupiter. And this position is not only the best for wealth, it's good for anything in life. What is that? It is a great Jupiter, a Jupiter in great dignity in the first house. The classics say that a guru in Lagna in the first house mitigates a thousand doshas. It nullifies a thousand doshas. <clears throat> okay, a thousand uh, curses are cancelled by the presence of guru in the Lagna in the first house. Now, just by having Guru in the first, it won't solve anything, okay? You need to have Jupiter in a good dignity. Now, we will speak of this word good dignity throughout. So, you have to know when is Jupiter in a good dignity. So, Jupiter is in a good dignity. It's in a great dignity in a water sign, like either Cancer where it is exalted or it's in Scorpio or it's in Pisces. And then if... Jupiter is in a fire sign like uh, Leo or Sagittarius or <clears throat> Aries, then also Jupiter is in a great dignity, okay? So either water best or fire, okay? And Jupiter does not do very good in um, air signs or earth signs, okay? But it does excellent in water signs especially, okay? And also superb in the fire sign. So if you have Jupiter in either a fire sign or even better in a water sign in the first house like Lord Sri Ram Chandra Prabhu Sri Ram Ki Jai Jai Sri Ram. He had exalted Guru with the moon in the first house in Cancer, right? So people with an exalted Jupiter in the first house have a very great potential to be like Lord Ram. Of course, this does not guarantee that you will have a very easy life but it certainly shows that you will stick to your principles and that will make you successful in the long run. What is the second indication? The second indication is not from astrology. Suppose you do not have your correct birth time or you don't know which day you were born. So what do you do? You take your hand. Your hand will tell you your right hand or your dominant hand. Okay, whichever hand you use very frequently, that is the hand that you will use. So take this. Don't punch anybody. Put this finger out, the first finger. This is called the index finger with which I'm pointing at you. You are at fault. <laughs> Take the index finger and then you see this, this mount. So you open your hand like this, then you will see this mount. Can you see this mount? So this is the Jupiter mount, okay? So this is the Jupiter finger and this is the Jupiter mount, okay? So this mount, not the whole mount, not everything, not the whole hand, just this part this part okay so in this part in this jupiter mount if this is very protruded okay it's uh quite plumpy and it is uh quite raised like a mountain then it's good and if you have special symbols in it now what are some special symbols that you can have in this jupiter mount you can see 
if there are lines which are forming some kind of a fish like structure you know somewhat like this like this okay so fish structure or it is uh, forming some kind of a temple so it's like the like a small house and then there's a flag on top or <clears throat> you have something like you know a conch you know what a conch is it's like a shank okay which we play uh, which they use in the temple so <clears throat> if you have special symbols like this in the jupiter mount uh, then you are extremely fortunate you are fortunate beyond fortune actually because if you see the uh, Vedic tradition, um, if you see the uh, feet of Lord Krishna, Srimati Radharani, of Lord Ram, of uh, other great personalities, you will always find they have exceptional great symbols in this mount and in some other mounts of the hand. Okay, and especially in their legs also. But for now, as of now, in this Jupiter mount, if you have, then you are very, very, very fortunate. So this shows you are very much blessed in life by Jupiter and this means you will get the best guidance whenever you are uh, feeling lost or whenever there are problems somebody will come and help you okay so this shows and also this shows if the mount is very protruded then it shows you are excellent as a teacher as a preacher as a speaker and you can guide people you can earn in today's language you can earn millions of dollars in online teaching okay Number three, this is again not from uh, palmistry, this is from numerology. So, for example, you only have your date of birth and you don't have your time of birth. So, then what happens? <clears throat> you just have your date of birth. So, then in your date of birth, if you have these two numbers, if you have three and seven, three is the number of Jupiter in numerology and seven is the number of luck. So, if you have three and seven, this means you are very much blessed by Jupiter. All the great Jupiterian traits will be there in a person who will have 3 and 7, of course, and also if the overall horoscope is strong. <clears throat> now, what does this do? This gives you exceptional intuition and spiritual knowledge. There is very strong grounding, okay? And the number 3 uh, is, is the number of Jupiter. So, it will give you uh, all the standard Jupiterian qualities but because 7 is there so it will magnify okay so now how can you have 3 or 7 so if you are born on 37th of any month but you can't be born on 37th right so you can be born on 3rd of July for example or you are born on 7th of March or you are born in 1937 anybody from the world war <laughs> or you are born in 1973 or your basic number, which is uh, the sum of your day, which could be either 3, 30, or, or it could be 12th also. Okay, so, uh, or it could be 7, your basic number, so it could be 7, 16, uh, or 25th. And your destiny number, which is the sum of your entire date of birth, could be either 3 or 7. So, either ways, you need two numbers. You need to have three somewhere in the date of birth or as your basic number or as your destiny number. And somewhere you need seven. Okay, so seven also could be anywhere or as your basic or as your destiny. Now, if you have only one of these, you will still be lucky. But if you have both, you are exceptionally lucky. Okay. <clears throat> and if you have all the three that we have discussed, oh my God, you have special symbols in your Jupiter Mount, you have an exalted Guru in the Lagna, or even a great Guru uh, in the Lagna, if not exalted, and you have three and seven. Uh, oh my God, you 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 are you you are seriously blessed. Okay, now the next factors from four to ten will be based on astrology. Okay, so number four is very 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 important. This is if you have a good Jupiter in either the 6th, 10th or 11th. Why is this important? Because these houses uh, with Jupiter in it in a good dignity, okay, which means in either in a water sign or a fire sign will give you scholarship sponsorships, okay, if it is in the 6th house. So if Guru is greatly placed in the 6th and Guru Dasha comes, Antar or Mahadasha, then you can get a lot of sponsorship. So if you are going abroad to your master studies, then you can get big sponsorships, okay? And especially a great guru in the 10th or 11th can give you great recognition, okay? So especially now you understand guru in the first 
as we discussed in the first point then now 6th 10th 11th they have the unique advantages okay so the first is great for anything in life the sixth is good for sponsorships and uh, so scholarships allowances and the 10th and 11th they are good for recognition okay so very 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 powerful the number five jupiter connected to the ninth lord in the d9 not in the d1 in the d9 the navamsha chart do you know the navamsha chart the d9 d9 is the chart of dharma it is the chart of spirituality it is the chart of marriage it is the chart which shows how you are when nobody is watching you okay <laughs> and the ninth house of the d9 shows what exactly is your past life uh, talents and traits that you bring in not only the ninth the entire uh, navamsha shows but when jupiter is connected to the ninth house in the d9 so it means jupiter is in the ninth or it is uh it is connected with the ninth lord so it is with the ninth lord or it's aspecting the ninth lord somewhere so then what happens is jupiter magnifies so wherever jupiter aspects or whichever planet is conjunct he expands jupiter is karaka for expansion okay so he will magnify and expand your traits talents and your interests and you will be able to bring them into this life into this world into this planet into this life into this existence into this being so that you earn massive success so you can see this in people who are very much comfortable with themselves have you seen people who start singing you know then they are like amazing singers or they start doing programming you know they do things in an amazing way so you look at their chart you will always find that guru in the navamsha is related to their ninth house somehow because they are able to use those talents in the best way so number 6 lagnesh connected to the 10th house but 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 conjunct or <clears throat> aspected by jupiter what what does this mean so when the lagna in the 10th house so whichever ascendant you are so if the ascendant lord is connected to the 10th house this is a combination which is known as um, it's like hanuman ji okay it's known as siddha yoga which means you are successful in anything you do in the professional field <clears throat> but when jupiter is aspecting this lagna lord okay which is connected to the 10th house then what happens is there is magnification of of this okay so this expands so it grows like 10 20 100 times it's like compound interest so <clears throat> you are not only successful in your uh, profession uh, to some extent you are successful exponentially beyond all limits okay so therefore a lagnesh connected to the 10th aspect or conjunct jupiter is is the best thing to happen in your profession okay specifically for profession the number 7 jupiter in the d10 chart you know the d10 chart which is the chart of your profession which shows inevitable circumstances or scenarios in your job life okay so in that chart if jupiter is in the 11th house or connected to the 11th lord in a good dignity of course so what does this do this expands your career network because the 11th house in your d10 will tell you how you how do you network with others in your profession okay either you are in it medicine or law or whatever whichever field you are do you get help from people when required do people recommend you do people or refer you do people help you uh, when you are in trouble and do people help you when you are doing good are people envious of you or they want to help you always they appreciate you do you have support of society in your profession do you have support of your peers your seniors juniors everything is seen from the 11th house of the d10 so if jupiter is there in a good dignity oh boy that that's the end of the story you you just make phone calls and it's done all right <laughs> now number 8 is very very special this combination uh, is not necessarily a grand combination for success but it is a great combination for uh, getting things easier in life okay <clears throat> this is a placement where jupiter and venus not jupiter or venus jupiter and venus both of the planets have to be in the kendra houses which is 1 4 7 10 
and in good dignity and they should also be supported by the trinal lord so for example if guru is in the first house and venus is in the fourth and the lord of the fifth or the ninth is aspecting either jupiter or venus because what happens then you don't have to do much you know there are people around you who will come and give you a job who will tell you oh i have this job would you like to take it okay because the trinal lords bring the good karma from your previous lifetimes okay the other houses like the 10th house 11th house they only give you things if you work but but if both jupiter and venus are in kendra in good dignity and aspected by the trinal lords then you have uh, you have the possibility to have an easy going life okay uh, of course provided if jupiter venus are lording dusthana houses then there will still be some trouble and for most of the people jupiter or venus because they lord four houses they will either lord the sixth eighth or the twelfth okay <clears throat> but the more the power of jupiter and venus the more uh, the powerful this combination is okay but this can also give you great contacts okay number nine nakshatra lord of the jupiter so your jupiter is sitting in a particular house in a particular sign and within the sign it will be in a particular nakshatra so every nakshatra has a lord so for example now currently in transit jupiter is in bharani nakshatra as of today so who is the lord of bharani venus so if venus is sitting in the first or the tenth okay so for example in your birth chart if you originally not now if in your birth chart you have jupiter in bharani anywhere in the chart any ascendant you are but then venus the lord of bharani is sitting either in the lagna or in the tenth this will give you massive name massive this is like huge unprecedented nakshatra lord of jupiter connected to the first tenth or even the eleventh but primarily the first or tenth this can make you an excellent politician this can give you status beyond imagination okay so i would say this is one of the best and most sought placements and number 10 this is very 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 unique this is also from astrology but have you heard of the d 12th chart, Dwada Shamsha chart. Why Dwada Shamsha? Because it's very interesting. Today is also Varaha Dwadashi, uh, appearance day of Vishnu Avatar Varade when we are talking of Dwada Shamsha chart, D12 chart. Exalted Guru or a Guru in Multrikon or a Guru in own sign sitting anywhere in the D12's Artha houses. <clears throat> so, which are the Artha houses? The 2nd, 6th, or 10th. So in your D12 chart, <clears throat> if Jupiter is in the 2nd, 6th or 10th, but it should be either in own sign, which means Sagittarius or Pisces or Multricon, which is Sagittarius or Exalted, which means Cancer. So if these conditions are fulfilled, then what does this mean? This means that your ancestors have some blessing uh, coming down uh, to you, which is coming down through you and through your ancestors okay finally you are receiving it okay <clears throat> so this can come in any form you know like lottery or some grand inheritance <clears throat> or something good happens to you you great you get the association of a great personality some great businessman you are going and you are meeting them you know some exceptional luck so it's like your ancestors did something so great that the greatness is flowing to you through the artha houses of your own chart okay so if you have a great jupiter in the second sixth or tenth in the d12 in great dignity especially if it is exalted or multricorn or in the own sign pisces then you are extremely fortunate you must offer coconut every day on amavasya okay on every amavasya not every day and you should always pray to uh, Vaman Dev uh, for their betterment, their deliverance. You can also chant this mantra. Om Namo Bhagwate Shri Vamanaya. This is Dwada Shakshari mantra. You can always chant this mantra. Very, very, very important. All right. So that will be all from my side. Please let me know down in the comments what are some of the amazing placements that you have seen and do you have any of these placements how many of these placements do you have and 
what do you expect to happen in the Guru Dasha? All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you're new, then please subscribe and like the video if you are inspired by this. And for consultations on your chart, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Jai Shri Ram.